hey guys from the uh, <laughs> from the mild to the ridiculous and here we're gonna go uh, I wanted to do a review of the Smith & Wesson 500 and uh, on the shit hits the fan home defense okay <laughs> you, you look at this gun the 500 Smith & Wesson okay you look down the business arrow all that and you can see it's empty but I'll show for all the safety sallies out there guys okay, it's an empty gun okay but look at the size of that guy okay so it's 500 Magnum most powerful handgun commercially available I said commercially like in a store 500 Smith & Wesson highly polished okay here I see now the Smith & Wesson 500 is a single action or a double action Okay, it holds five rounds. Okay, and they're big bullets. They're very heavy. One box of these is probably like almost two boxes of 45 ACP. Pretty close to it. Expensive bullets, about 60 bucks for, for 20 bullets. Um, in your hand, heavy. Heavy, heavy gun, five, six pounds. So, home defense. Yeah, I guess you could use it for home defense. Um, shit hits the fan. Maybe if you needed a big gun where you're going to be stopping cars, blowing out engine blocks. Uh, yeah, maybe that would be. Uh, this would have to be a backup to like, uh, you know, your smaller gun. Let's say you wanted to, there was a zombie behind a metal door and you really want to blow the shit out of him. So you shoot, use this and shoot right through the door and blow him in half. Or you want to stop a car that was coming at you. Shoot it about uh, five times in the engine block and you'd stop the car. Uh, practical as far as shit hits the fan defense? No. Um, what would I say? Probably the... Um, the uh, numbers are on this. Well, guys, I give it like a five for ammunition. Okay. Uh, I say the gun itself... A five okay uh, power I give it a ten reliability I give it a ten uh, manufactured consistent quality and everything ten okay the round I give it a ten very good effective round uh, but as far as uh, weight like I say five bullets too heavy five uh, so as far as a home defense gun, maybe shit hits the fan, it probably would be good in the arsenal wrapped up with, you know, maybe a hundred rounds of this in case you got to stop somebody that's in a car or for some reason to blow a hole through a door, you know, a safe or something like that. Yes. But, um, there are better options. So I'm going to give it five across the boards for home defense and shit hits the fan. For reliability, I give it 10. For sure power, I give it 10. It's the most powerful of all the guns we've talked about. For capacity, I'll give it a 7 because uh, I'm giving it the same as the uh, XDS. It's not the lowest. Five rounds is still not bad in a gun, but um, it does have a fiber optic, which is interchangeable in the front with a blade. You can pop this out. Uh, interchangeable compensators, but, you know, the gun is definitely a beautiful gun. It's a real nice gun, and uh, it, it really is going to depend a lot on you. Um, you know what you're looking for in a shit hits the fan defensive gun uh, I, I would definitely have to say it would make a good addition to your scenario but if it's the only gun you had uh, I would say no like I say you'll you probably want like three guns with you in a defensive situation if you're uh, I mean if you got a big van and you can carry more that's fine more guns it is better but this is really a specialized uh, gun and uh, depending, you know, what you're going to do with it. But, you know, that is, this is like uh, 500 uh, Smith & Wesson is like a 50 AE Magnum. That's what you, you probably want to compare it to. So thanks a lot for watching the video. And, uh, you know, feel free to just give me some feedback and to see what you think um, about, uh, you know, how would this be as a, a home defense shit hits the fan gun. So... Thanks for watching, and uh, just feel free to give me a comment, guys.